what is to be born again? And, what happens, after you born again? In this video, I will answer this, question. And so, I will tell you about myself, for we are not the same, but different. And so, here, I will explain to you, how, Jesus Christ baptized me, with his Holy Spirit of Truth, and I became, a born again Christian. It all started in 2012. I, was fugitive at that time. Yes, I was fugitive for 23 years. I was living, with fake identities for 23 years. Not exactly like, what you have seen in this movie. But from the start, it was something like that. And so, before I became Christian in 2012, my house was hotels, and my food was in restaurants. I was ashamed to buy something from the shops, if it was not expensive. Not only that, but I was ashamed to pay with, coins. If you have seen this movie, you will understand from where, from where, my income was coming from. And so, even I had lots of money, I was far, far from being happy. For I had, no choice, but to live in darkness at that time, for my deeds was, evil. And so, this was, who I was, before I, became Christian. And here is how, all this changed. Yes, my life changed, after I have seen this YouTube video. For after this video, I accepted Jesus Christ, as my only Lord and God. And so, I went to my embassy, for I decided to live in darkness no more. It was a big step for man to make, but I did. And so, good news, I was fugitive no more, for somehow, magically my prison sentence was expired. And so, the only problem at my embassy, was that, after 23 years with fake nationalities, I forget to speak my mother language. Yes, it was very funny at the embassy, for I forget how to speak my, original, mother language. And so, I was born again. I start to see this world in different way. I start to love the truth most of everything. For I have seen, that the only truth is Jesus, for there is, no other truth. And so, the things I used to do before, are nonsense to me now. For example, before I used to watch Hollywood movies, and enjoy them. But now, I feel sick, if I have to watch nonsense like that. Before, I used to love earthly things, but now, all earthly things are nonsense to me. Before, I used to live for more, and more money, but now, the little money I have, are more than I need. And so, what about, praying in tongues? Yes, it happened to me one time only. A few months, after I accepted Jesus as my only Lord. It happened to me. One night, before sleep, I was ready to pray, and when I start praying, the prayer, was loud, and in unknown tongues. I did not know that, my voice can be that loud and free. But most of all, I was scary, for I did not know, why that happened, and why, for I was a new Christian at that time, not knowing what praying in unknown tongues is. So I stop it, I said, the Lord's Prayer, and went to sleep. And so, what happened to me was a sign, a sign, that we are not alone. And so, I, bear witness, that praying in unknown tongues is for sign, and sign only. And so, what about, the Holy Spirit of Truth? Which is, the Holy Spirit of Jesus? Well, the Holy Spirit of Truth, teaches me all things, and brings all things to my remembrance, whatsoever Jesus have said. For example, people that are not born again, are forgetting their first love, and because of that, they make idols for themselves, like people, made the man John Calvin idol for themselves, they call themselves Calvinists. And so, other people, have forgotten their first love too, and because of that, they make, Jacobus Arminius idol for themselves, they call themselves Arminianists. And so, even today, people are in Calvinism, and Arminianism, and that's because, they have no Holy Spirit of truth in them. 
but let me explain it better, that you may understand it well. For example this man, Brian Denelinger, have forgotten his first love, for his love now is Peter Ruckman. He calls himself Ruckmanite. And is not only him, for people have made for themselves Ruckmanite churches too. This is sad, I feel sorry for them, I really do, but it's prophecy, and all prophecy must be fulfilled. And so, the Holy Spirit of Jesus, is with me always, even unto the end of the world. Even the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you.